my name is Ethan Hagen, and I work in the Cavalier Care Center. I'm also a student of BIPSI, just graduated in May, but I'm still taking more courses. And the Cavalier Care Center, we do the food pantry that used to be Rotaract Club. We do Chromebook loans for students who can't afford a laptop but need to do online classes for whatever reason. And we have the career closet. So if a student needs scrubs or any type of professional clothing for an interview, we can loan those out so they can get that interview, get that job. And we also help families or students in their households apply for SNAP, WIC, Medicaid. We help them find housing, help them if they need help with their bills. We work with some partner organizations. So we even have um, medical help. So COVID or just any time you're feeling bad, you need a dentist, a physician, any type of mental health. We cover pretty much all of that. And just if you need somebody to talk to, we've got two ladies who are sort of, well, who will do counseling and can just help you figure out what you need. We also work <clears throat> with the campus counselor who can help us further. And we just partner with all kinds of organizations so we can find students what they need if they normally can't find it elsewhere on campus. That's great. Thank you. So um, what do you wish all BIPSI employees knew more about the work that you do? Uh, well, I guess just what we do, because it seems some people think we do more than we do. Some people don't know we exist yet because people haven't been on campus. So a lot of students are still taking courses online, either in full or in part, but not all of them have access to internet or a computer. So we can help with both of those. We have 150, 180 Chromebooks we hand out to any students. They can be normal college students, high set students, just anything in between. As long as they're taking in at least one class at Dipsy, we can help a student. And we're not going to turn somebody away. If we don't have that readily available, we'll find a way to it. As long as they're a student in need and they're not somebody who's trying to take advantage. So like with Chromebooks, if they could afford a Chromebook or their own laptop through financial aid, we'll send them there, but we'll still find them a way to get a device that they can use. That's great. Any last words to offer your uh, colleagues on the online center for teaching and learning? Uh, well, I guess this is definitely an interesting new, I'm hopeful to see how this goes because I don't know that Bitchy's done anything like this, at least not in the two to three years I've been here. So I guess uh, good luck to everybody trying out all these new workshops and I hope to see you all around. <laughs>